Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkster.com, and in today's third video, I want to welcome our new Finkster freelancer student, uh, Kevin. So welcome, Kevin. I appreciate you joining the course. I think you made a great decision. Freelancing is on the rise, and uh, yeah, you I, I saw you join from Africa, uh, which I found wonderful. I mean, this is just... This is why I love freelancing, right? Because it evens out the playing field. Now everybody in the world can participate uh, in this in this new industry trends. There are no like not a not a couple of Silicon Valley people uh, earning all the profits in the world, right? But I mean, now you can work from a from anywhere, even from Bali, like our like uh, one of our. Uh, uh, one of our Finkster freelancer student, uh, Adam, he actually now works in Bali. He travels through the world and uh, works from Bali as a successful freelancer, right? You can work from everywhere, uh, completely location independent. You can really live the, the dream lifestyle, uh, uh, like earning, earning uh, say, uh, um, a couple of... Uh, um, uh, working a couple of hours earning say a full-time income in two three hours a day and then just enjoying the rest of the day learning a lot of stuff and by learning you actually can increase your value to the marketplace even further and so on uh, actually this is what I have found that, uh, since I stopped working uh, as an employee I had much more time to learn which means uh, much like newer opportunities uh, came 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 to me that I couldn't have explored as an employee because I as an employee I was just working full time in my job I couldn't explore new opportunities and I couldn't learn actually I couldn't spend a lot of time learning because I was like in my job uh, the whole day right so and um by switching to freelancing, it opened up a lot of like new time that I could now spend learning. And I think it's a, it's, it's just such, such a wonderful uh, new way of organizing the world's talent. I think it's good for the world too, because it evens out the playing field for the freelancers, but also for the clients. Now you can have remote companies and businesses like Finkster who doesn't who don't have a hack headquarter but still they work right because you can hire people you can orchestrate a globalized uh, a global company uh, just working from anywhere right it's 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 really beautiful and it will just go on and on and on and freelancing is actually growing uh, double digits percentage wise every year for decades it will continue to grow uh, because of the huge advantage advantages for companies in terms of flexibility and in terms of access to the best talent and in terms, in terms of fractionalizing a day of a worker right i mean now you can hire a freelancer for two hours you don't have to hire him even for a day for a month or for many years right just to access his talent you can hire him for two hours it's just much more efficient brokerage of talent okay in this video i win uh, I, I want to go in one of the most frequent uh, gig gigs on upwork python web scrapping right such a basic 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 skill uh, what is it what is web, web scrapping web scrapping is uh, basically you extract data from websites right and many websites um, like have some 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 um, uh, scripts on it, for example. It's not not always easy to extract data from websites, but I just want to show you that in any field, even in such a basic field such as Python web scrapping, it is possible to make premium hourly rates if you become one of the top uh, freelancers in your field. And if you are just starting out, of course, you are not the top. You're just starting out, maybe earning. $10 per hour, right? But you are learning on the way. You are building your credibility on the platform. You get these positive ratings and you get your clients, connection to clients. You, you increase the demand for your services and you become better and better with every finished gig. You become better and more valuable to the marketplace, which means you increase your hourly earnings uh, step by step and you increase your value to the marketplace step by step and you learn on the way you by finishing the projects you actually learn to code you become a better coder uh, and you increase your rate from ten dollars to twenty hours to thirty thousand if you keep learning if you keep learning and for example um, learning courses in your doing courses in, in your field reading books in your field like you do kevin then you become a better uh, freelance and you can ultimately join the top five percent of coders in your in your industry and any industry has those type of coders who actually make premium hourly rates like this one um and now let's let's check out one this is even like web scrapping you could argue web scrapping oh it is it is like the field is it's it's um too much competition right uh, but this is not this is not really the case i mean uh, this is a web scrapping industry and you can earn 135 dollars per hour right there are many freelancers offering web scrapping services but there are even more clients wanting needing in in need of those labor right in need of those skills so therefore you can uh, if you are focused on the success of your clients, focused on delivering uh, great value, like 
Like it is not even a function of learning and your skills, right? It's just a function of how much value you deliver. How much, how well do you communicate with the client? If you have a client, you deliver great value. You communicate to the client. You figure out what the client exactly wants and you give it to the client and you give more to the client than he paid you for um, uh, in maybe in faster time, maybe, maybe even just being polite and being a nice human being, talking to, to your client so the client enjoys communicating with you. These things matter, right? And and that's why for some freelancers like Dave get a 100% job success score. I mean, he has he has worked on 170 jo- jobs and 100% job success score. Th- this is not random, right? This is not this is not luck or chance or anything. This is just dedicated effort. Uh, Dave is focus is dedicated to delighting his customer. I mean. Put it on your wall. Actually, it is on my wall. Put it on your wall as well. Delight your customer. As a business owner, this is the most important rule. Put it like somewhere where you can see it behind your desktop or so. So where you stare at it every day and then just do it, right? Do it, Just do the work. Just try to delight your customers. That's it. You don't even have to learn a lot. You just improve and increase and give your best and try to delight the customer, right? And uh, uh, yeah, you can check out freelancers like Dave who actually are in the web scrapping industry. You see, for example, here feedback. Wow, well, I have hired quite a few web scrappers on Upwork. Dave was awesome. Looking forward to working with him again. Why was he awesome? Because he communicated well, he delivered the value the client sought and um, and he was probably just a nice guy, right? Uh, here you see, it. Dave is awesome. I mean, this is just about his personality, right? This is not about his skills. It's, just, it's about his personality and that's why a client will work with him again. And guess what? If client want to work with you again, your client acquisition costs drop to, to zero, right? Because they come to you. You don't even have to do any marketing. Clients come to you because you delight them and you are you are the go-to go-to person uh, if they have any web scrapping problem. Even if you even if you are a bit more pricey, right? Even if you cost one hundred dollars per hour or so, they come to you because it's just a pleasure to work with you, right? And these things they are they really they are they are key. They are the critical uh, element. Many coders don't see because coders. Like the cliche of a code is an introverted, uh, negative person who doesn't speak the language of the clients, right? So learn to speak the language of the client, be positive, upbeat, optimistic, and communicate well with the clients. Learn and improve the technical skills as well. Like just, but just go in, like just start wherever you are, even if you have crappy skills now, uh, deliver some value actually for things that you can finish your first gigs for things that getting experience and momentum on the platform, earning some money back and, uh, and just increase your success as a freelancer over time. Okay, thanks Kevin for joining the freelancer course. I really appreciate you joining from Kenya and see you in the course, bye.